Angela from Prettify Your Life. I wanted to shoot the quick video to show you the birthday front door for my daughter. She turned it turned seven, and here is a little chalkboard that I got in Houston last year. It's a little chalkboard you know, sandwich thing, I think they call it, on both sides. So I just kind of wrote happy birthday and some little uh, garden stakes, round top collection, which I love. And then also the large candles. I love how big they are. Got those at a local store in town, but you can, you can find those online. And here is my front door. Again, it's American Girl doll theme. So let me just kind of take you through how I did it. First of all, I left the hot pink mesh on from my Bunko um, front door. And then I took blue, I think that's two and a half inch mesh, rib ribbon, purple, and red. I just kind of twisted it and secured it and twisted them and secured them. And then I took regular white ribbon from Hobby Lobby, the 30 foot ribbon that you can find in the wedding section. And then I found this um, kind of tape over in the craft section, either at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, and it just stuck right on. Cause you know, my biggest complaint, I know American Girl doll is, you know, banks on exclusivity, but I think they're missing a market on some of, you know, party stuff. So um, I made it kind of a custom, American Girl ribbon by putting adhering that on to well it's a tape that just stuck back onto the ribbon so I did that all the way around and had these fabulous um, picks I got it at a local store I think you can get them at Trendy Tree maybe I think um, I also yes I eBayed I I can't tell you how many boxes we've had in the past and I've thrown them away so I actually eBayed a lady and she um, was kind enough to rush all these boxes to me and I just love them I think it's so cute and so she was real sweet I'm gonna have to send her a nice thank you email and let's see what else all of the little name plates I did this um, they're all the names of dolls. Some are retired, some are current. There's Kanani from last year. Um, I just took some wood. There was a packet, I think, of six um, little wood slates and um, a packet from Hobby Lobby. And I didn't have time to paint it, so I just stuck vellum, white vellum over it and cut these out of a red, kind of a brick red. Um, when I don't have time to mess with trying to find a font, I just use my go-to feeling groovy font on the Cricut and cut those out and just stuck those on. And I think it turned out really cute. So the girls were kind of looking, you know, where there's the doll of the year, McKenna and Josefina or Josefina, how do we say that? Um, Cecile, I think. Um, Elizabeth, Kaya, Ivy. So, then on the wreaths, I just took a styrofoam wreath, covered it in red ribbon, had another wooden slat that I painted in chalkboard paint, got one of those um, paper mache letters and covered it, mod, mod podged it with American Girl paper that you can find in the American Girl packs at your craft store and just wrote with a liquid chalkboard um, pen and again I used some more of that ribbon that I created and oops sorry zoomed in and some more of the deco mesh ribbon to tie in with the garland so I did Lucy is and then over here turning seven so I think that worked out those were quick and easy wreaths. I didn't want to take a lot of time on the wreath. So, um, that's pretty much it. My mother-in-law helped me. She was my assistant, helped me giving me stuff. So, 
I think it turned out good and it kind of set the set the mood for the party so I hope that inspires you and um, to do something fun for your child's birthday party and get them ready for the party inside by decorating outside thanks a lot <laughs>